Hey, ladies and gents, this is Is the Wiz, and uh, Miguel's here. Hello. So, uh, we're going to show you some Mythic Legions compatible odds and ends. Things that aren't necessarily Mythic Legions, but you can add to your collection to make it cooler than it already is. All right. So, first off, I want to show a little project created by Miguel. Da, 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 da. Why don't you tell us what this is, Miguel? It's a 3D printed, supposed to be a pencil holder. Yeah. No. It in the dark. No, what it is, it's, it's, really it's, a, it's a glow holder. in the dark Mythic Legions weapons rack. Um, I'm thinking about possibly, see, you know, it's just, you can take all the various weapons and daggers and, and, um, swords and stuff and stick them in there and i don't know how many there are but it's quite a few a lot um and it was because miguel made this failed design in his uh, shop class in like sixth grade <laughs> yeah in his shop class and it just it, it was supposed to hold i think maybe a business card and some pencils but you know the holes weren't deep enough but we modified it and made it into a awesome mythic legions glow in the dark weapons rack why is it glow in the dark because it's made of glow in the dark plastic no it's so that the uh i don't know maybe it it reinvigorates the weapons with its magic oh they're enchanted enchanted and then uh, i i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drip blood all over it like faux blood not my own not real blood but uh, this is where business cards were supposed to go, and that works really nice with that big blade. And, um, you know, all, you can do that with any sort of cylinder. You can just take a drill, drill holes in it, and uh, it doesn't have to be 3D printed or fancy. And that's a place where you can just put all your Mythic Legions weapons and weaponry. So um, just an idea out there. Um, another idea is this okay what is this you may ask it is the ikea ps 1995 uh, i got it in that area where they put their clearance stuff it was two bucks it's huge i think this is like what cast is iron I don't know. it's a cast iron well what it is for me is a two a two dollar on clearance stand for my mythic my mythic legions that require more stability for example uh, miss silver cord here has huge wings and it's hard for her to stand on her own well, i would say it would be impossible for her to stand on her own two feet but if you put her there on the ikea ps 1995 uh, it it supports her legs and feet it supports her beautiful wings and she can stand great and then in the back what have we here? We have a place where we can stow uh, weapons and accessories. So, wow. <laughs> wow. $2 cat. How much do you think this thing weighs? It's cast iron. It's huge. It's heavy. It's indestructible. Like so, um, I think this would go well with uh, Xylona figure. Because that's a deer. She has small deer feet. And... Um, you know, it would help her stand and then it would just make sure that it, you know, never falls down again, no matter how heavy those wings get. So cool thing about, you know, what's a cool thing about a uh, silver cord? She's the only Asian figure on the line so far, except for maybe um, um, uh, another figure that might be Asian, but we don't know because it doesn't have a human face. It's got a, it's got a dragon on it. But I have a feeling that there's going to be a, another Asian um, elf coming down the road, possibly. Just a feeling, uh, and w which will be cool because then we have more ethnic re representation and she's a wonderful um, Asian elf. So, in keeping with the um, theme of using non-mythic legions um, things to sort of spruce up mythic legions uh i have this here Thing. and do you know you know what this is supposed to be no it's supposed to be one of those like wooden trainers where 
you, you know, you whack it and it spins around and it hits you and stuff. Um, what it is actually is a banana holder, I think. I mean, oh. it's called a, maybe a banana tree, but um, it real it does look like a trainer. I think you just hang them. Yeah, you just hang the bunches. Yeah. But doesn't it look like... It, it totally looks like one of those trainers I think I've seen in martial arts movies. I think like Bruce Lee movies know. or whatever. I don't know what the trainers. Um, yeah. Well, you practice your kung fu and you hit it and it spins around and then it whacks you with another arm. Wow. Then you have to black, block that and, and keep going. Okay. So other mythic legions. Uh, okay. Here is a handy dandy tip. Um, this is a staction that, that I got at PowerCon. It's not Mythic Legions, but uh, it didn't come with its stand. So I got this, which is a handy dandy sample from Home Depot. Sample floor tiles from Home Depot. You can grab like I don't know if these. Them for free if <laughs> Here's the thing go to Home Depot and they have these drawers. You pull them out. I think it's in the countertop section or the tile section. And they give you these. St samples, free samples. This one's called Starlight. Just and, grab uh, as many as you can, shove them all in your pockets, and walk out. They're free samples. So, you know what? They make excellent, excellent stands for your Mythic Legions or any of your um, action uh, figures. And, uh, you know, Home Depot. You know, if there's, you're a customer and you're looking for samples. And if, Another you know, something, something catches your eye... If something happens to catch your eye and you redo your kitchen, then they make a sale. What do you not understand about the term free sample? Frample. It's a frample. Uh, and if you happen to get like, say, 60 or 70 of them and, and you happen to build an entire castle, then more power to you. All right. Oops. So there is that. Um, I, I took a piece and uh, repainted a piece from... The um, the Funko uh, Primal Age Castle. So I'm, I'm also that using that. This is a Schleith Trainer. Here are some like various assorted treasure chests. Um, that one's a Fortnite chest. I know how much you love Fortnite. Mm, I just and love then, Fortnite. It's <laughs> my favorite game. This is another one um, that I got at Michael's and I painted up. So... Those little treasure chests are really cool. Um, and last but not least, some li a lighting accessory. Low-cost lighting accessory from Costco to spice up your collection. This is what it looks like here. It's called the LED Rope Light um, from Paradise. And uh, I got it at Costco. It was 25 bucks. Was it 25 bucks? Yeah, it was no, 25 it was all right, and it comes with this handy dandy remote, and it does all, all kinds of things. What it is is a rope light, and you can use it to basically it's go, a rope with LEDs in it, and it, it goes around. Yeah, you can connect like a hundred feet of them together. Right, but these are eighteen for eighteen feet. You get this, and you can like wrap it around a tree, or you can decorate for Christmas. And it has this remote where you it has all these different features. You can make the light red, green purple, all these different colors. You can, um, you know, make it sparkle and shift colors. Um, what else? What other effects? But, but basically, um, you know, you have those people that go to Ikea and they buy these LED ropes and they, and they have to go ahead and wire everything. And they actually have to have skills and be smart. Well, that's not for me. I want something that's plug and play. And this is what this is. Very, very plug and play, right? Um, that's where the, um, I guess, infrared remote changes things, and then you just plug it into your regular outlet, and then, and you, then get you get 18 feet 18 of this feet of awesomeness. But the cool thing I like about it is the different colors. I'm going to show you how I incorporated, incorporated it in my display and what it you looks incorporated like. incorporated it extremely well. All right, hold on, and we'll take a look. Check it out, folks. Here is my castle. It's orange on the camera. Well, maybe. But here's my castle gray skull display. I think this is the coolest setting. Like I said, there there's a bunch of different um, 
there is a bunch of different effects that you can do on it but I think the the light the red light really makes it look spooky. It actually looks like a really deep red if you can't see it on the camera. Yeah, especially, you know, the skeletons when they're silhouetted and it's it's showing their faces. Uh, very, very spooky and scary. And uh, same with the Castle Grayskull. Um, wait, let me show you something else. This is my light and sound display. I don't like the sound very much. <laughs> it's kind of high pitched and annoying. I, I incorporated it. <laughs> I didn't incorporate it, I incorporated it. So, that's an awesome thing for Halloween if you're someone who doesn't have skills and just wants to sp spruce up a display. Um, it's an awesome way to do it. Alright, is the Wiz signing out. Bye.